Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Chris here, and in today's video we're going to be checking out mixing using guitar pedals for some effects. Let's go. So again, welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video I thought we'd try a mix tip that I don't tend to use all the time to be honest, because you have to kind of set it up and I haven't really had the capability to set it up, but since I've got this desk and I've kind of rewired everything, got the patch bay in, it's been a lot more convenient to actually reroute stuff and, and make this stuff possible. So hopefully I can get it involved a bit more in the setup. But what I had in mind is basically using guitar effects pedals as part of your mix. Now, usually when you're doing these kind of things, something you have to keep in mind, which is you're either going to be printing the effects live so you have to do at least one pass of playing through the song where you print the effects or it's just constantly kind of playing through the hardware that you've got and then when the time comes that you export the song then again you'll just do a real-time bounce through the through the song and then you'll capture those effects live so i just thought i've got a couple of pedals which are pretty good for this kind of stuff so let's dive in and try see how we can utilize these in our mix sessions so I've got open over here a Pro Tools session, something a bit different from your regular Ableton. This is usually the software I find myself mixing in. This is a song that features my man JCB as well as my gal Faber, both very talented artists. So what I'm going to try in this instance is I've basically set this up here. I've just got my GoPro kind of showing this off, but I've got the output from my interface connected into the input and then the effect output connected into just a di box i've got here running into my bigger interface and so what this allows me to do is if i get up the mixer here as you can see this is already a, a mix song so there's plenty going on but what i've done is i've just added this little send right here now what this is doing is it says q1 left and right that's just because of how i have it set up on the interface but basically it's coming out from outputs three and four on the back and i'm just taking output four and that's going into the delay and into the box and kind of returning back into pro tools so let's check out what this does i'm just going to pull this down we can bring it back in and see what it sounds like let's cut to faber doing some singing and let's have a play with this and see what we've got it's too late to tell me to calm down there you go so you can hear that i've got that delay coming through here if i put that on a pre-fader and then mute this you should just hear the delay So that's just the delay if I put the vocal in. So you can hear the beauty of this pedal or this delay in particular is that's quite dark, so it tends to sit very much underneath whatever is the the lead instrument in this case the vocals also it's got a nice little chorus vibrato and some depth so i could even add a bit of kind of pitch modulation to that sound so it you know stands out from just your dry sound a bit more which is great i actually want to try this i'll just put this channel on to mr jcb during his verse and let's see what that sounds like I fell, I fell backwards, I really fell backwards. Really backwards. You watched and loved it, you some bad actors. I don't give out trade don't secrets, trade that's bad practice. That's bad I got an eye, what a matter, why you asking? I'm always present when it's cracking. Never second, never lacking. I'm like Beckham in LA, another level you can't play. Stick the single player in campaign. I'm doing multi and stinking the same things. Or so I thought, stuck up. Nice, so I just kind of have this set to a quarter or an eighth delay depends on what the bpm is but uh you can hear that going on in the background i would love to try this with maybe a a different pedal whilst we're here hmm yeah go on i'll be two seconds and we're back the pedal has been replaced by this bad boy the big sky as you can maybe see it's had a bit of wear and tear this is a pedal i've owned for a while and it's definitely held its own it's a fantastic pedal and always providing inspiration so go strymon this is the same kind of vibe i can actually set up this channel now instead of being a mono channel we are coming out stereo so i'll create a stereo auxiliary so set this up to be seven and eight boosh 
I fell backwards, I really fell backwards. You watched and loved it, you some bad actors. I don't give out trade secrets, that's bad practice. Like I don't know, what a matter, why you asking? I'm always present, always when, present it's when it's cracking. Never second, never, second, never, never backing. Never backing. I'm, like I'm like Beckham in LA. LA. Another level you can't play. Stick the single player in campaign. I'm doing multi and stinking the same things. Or so I thought. Stuck in a line, I'm feeling caught. Want to show you that I've changed and it's different. But it's too late, now I'm out of position. It's too late for broken promises. Too late for an even playing field when you know what a chink in the armor is. I was Sick, so there you go. You can hear some delay and some reverb on the vocals. Whilst we're here, I'm actually just going to chuck this on an entirely separate instrument and just see what it can bring. So we've got a whole folder of pianos and synths. Let's see what's in here. So if I go into the mixer and grab that sand, chuck it on this, and see how we go. Beautiful. Adding a little bit of, of that space in there. I'm actually just going to route this real quick to the mix bus. It's not going to make a huge difference, but you probably just hear it a bit cleaner with everything. Let's just set to a whole. Let's see, one thing I love doing is using this on drums. And if I take that all the way to the drum section, all these green tracks of drums. So let's solo that and see what it sounds like when we mix something in. you're probably hearing a bit of pre-delay almost on that reverb and that's most likely because this session is run at a bit of a high buffer size so there's just a bit of latency between the sound going out of Pro Tools going through the pedal coming back into Pro Tools it's just a slight delay so you're hearing that but if we were in an earlier stage of the song process this would probably be a bit more squeezed I can probably nudge it if I recorded it down to audio you know I could flatten it and I could just shift it closer to where I want it or in this case I could probably run something like a low latency mode and then that will also help if I try reflections Nice. Or non lin. Let's go. Give me a chorus. There you go. I mean, obviously this is a reverb pedal, but that ain't sounding like reverb. You've got so many different types of uh, just space that come out of this pedal. It's it's so inspiring. And again, you know, using these things with your mix template can be a whole different game. So it's really worth kind of experimenting with the sounds you can get. I think I would love to just finish off by chucking this on the guitar. I'd love to see what the spring sounds like. So if I go on the guitar channel, put that there. And then solo 
and see what we've got. Wow, I love what it's adding, even at such a, a low level. It's just a nice little kind of bit of space. Obviously, I've got this on all the guitars, so it's kind of uh, a bit excessive, maybe. But either way, I'm really digging the sound of this. And it just goes to show, you know, what you can do with, uh, with a couple of effects pedals that you never know. Maybe you've had for a while and you need to get some more enjoyment out of them. So... I say why not, why not experiment with using them on your mixes, if not on your mixes, on your productions, you know. I uh, tend to run my synths and stuff through pedals, but to do it from the computer out and then back into the computer, usually a bit of a different setup because it requires a bit of extra gear, but I've really enjoyed doing this and again it's brought some inspiration back into my life, so I'll probably be doing this a lot more now that I've got this kind of set up for it, so if you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a comment and, and like the video and all that stuff. I really appreciate the feedback, so thank you so much for that. Got plenty of videos on here that you can check out. That's about production tips, songwriting, you know. I've got a whole series on creative musical ideas. So if any of those interest you, please subscribe for more. Once again, I've been Chris Fella, and I'll see you on the next one.